Okay, now, uh, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Um, I'm now answering question number six, part B, from the June 2024 Pure Mathematics P3 paper from um, the Edexcel Examining Board International A Level. And part A was all about differentiation, which I saved on a separate video. This question is dealing with integration. So I've said, I've, I'm going to save this in a separate video as well. And, you know, this is what this question is all about. So, as I said, this is a separate video from the part A. If you want to see part A, at the end of this video, you can click on the link that will appear on the top right of the screen, which will basically um, take you to the playlist. You can find part A there. Okay, so I'm going to continue with this question now. And it says the region R shown uh, shaded in figure three is bounded by the curve, the x-axis and the line L. We want to use algebraic integration to find the exact area of R. So the area of R is made up, as you can see, uh, of two different things, two different kind of sections. You have um, up to P, you have the area under this curve. And then it's like you have this triangle. Okay, you have this triangle over here, right? So this is the point five eight, is it five eight or eight five? Let's just make sure. In fact, it's eight five. That would have messed me up if I continued. It's always good to make sure. So this is the point P, which is eight five. Okay. And we know the equation of the line. Um, even if we couldn't find it, it's given to us as five x plus two y minus fifty equals zero. So this is five x plus 2y minus 50 equals 0. That's the equation of the line and the equation of the curve we have. So what we can do is we can split this up into two areas. I can say area A and area B. Now area B is just a right angle triangle. So I, I know that this point here is 8. I can find this point. I know this point here is 5. So I, so I know that the height of this triangle is 5 and I can work out what this point here is. All right, it's when... If we have 5x plus 2y minus 50 equals 0, this is when y equals 0 is the x-axis. When y equals 0, we're left with 5x equals 50, so x equals 10. So this is the point 10. So we can say the area of the area of triangle B is going to be a half times the base times the height, which is a half times, this is 2, times the height, which is 5. So it's going to be five square units. That's the area of triangle B. As for the area of the section A, we have to integrate our function, which was 4x minus 7 to the power of a half with respect to x between the limits of this point here and 8. What is this point here? Well, this is the point when um, y equals 0. So we can see what this point is here. This is when the square root of 4x minus 7 is equal to 0. Okay, so if you square both sides, you get 4x minus 7 equals 0. So 4x equals 7. So x equals 7 over 4. So this is a point 7 over 4. Okay, so we got from um, up to 8, from 4 over, from 7 over 4, sorry. 7 over 4 to 8. We have to integrate this with those limits. Now, this is something we can reverse the chain rule for because it's of the form f dash of x times f of x, meaning that if you differentiate what's inside here, you get a uh, constant 4. And this is multiplied by constant, which is 1. So it's of the form of reversing uh, where we can reverse the chain rule. So what we can do is we can take this, we can add 1 to the power, so I have 4x minus 7, to the power of, if you add 1 to the power, it's going to be 3 over 2, divided by the new power, which is 3 over 2, and then multiplied by the differential what's inside the function, which is 4. Okay? And all of this is to the, to the limits of 8 and 7 over 4. So that's going to give us, if we uh, simplify this, this cancel with that, that gives you 6, but it gives you... So uh, 2 and 4 cancel, give you 2, 3 times 2 is 6. So you're left with 1 over 6, which you can take outside, times 4x minus 7. And what does this mean to the power of 3 over 2? 
it means the square root of this all cubed. Okay, the, remember we have a to the power of m over n is the same as basically the nth root of a to the power of m. This is the root, this is the power. So the root is 2, so square root of something cubed. So this is between the limits of 8 and 7 over 4. So now we're going to put the limits in. So we have 1 over 6 times the square root of, now 4, four times 7, 4 times 8 is 32. 32 minus 7 is uh, 5, uh, 25. So the square root of 25 um, um, cubed. Okay, and you're going to have minus, and then we're going to put 7 over 4 in here. So 4 times 7 over 4, they cancel out. So we end up with 7 minus 7, which is 0. So that's just going to give us 0. because You have 4 times 7 minus, that's right. Um, so we put the limits in now. So you have 1 over 6 times, the square root of 25 is 5. 5 cubed is 125. Square root of 25 is 5. 5 cubed is 125. So you're left with 125 over 6. So therefore, the total area is going to be the sum of the two areas, which was 5 and 125 over 6. So 125 over 6 plus 5. It says write down the exact area, so we want to leave it as an exact fraction. So this is going to be 30 over 6 plus 125 over 6, which is 155 over 6. I don't think this cancels out. So there we have our answer 155 over 6 square units and that is the answer to question number 6 part B right so you can find the first part of this question 6a if you go to the playlist which will be um, linked at the top of the screen at the end of this video uh, other questions from the topic of integration um, from P3, you can find it in the playlist over here. Specifically, reversing the chain rule, you'll find a link over here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link at the top of the screen. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.